Okay. Okay. Webcam's probably going to be a little on the blue side. You can probably hear Madu having a good time out there, too. Uh, let's fix the webcam really fast. Dude, I don't know why it does not save my configuration, my white balance. There we go. That is me. Vix Tories. Chat looks like it's working. Follows, subs are working. I'm getting all the updates on the laptop. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know. Right. I'm not that orange. No, I'm just I'm color balancing it to what my eyes see behind me. If you, if you want, we can uh How's that? Get that blue light going on there. Oh no, or I can turn it off. Brighter, brighter. Okay, I'm blind. Uh, am I able to do a quick run over of my stone material that you created in Substance Painter? Uh, there is a there's a video where I do that. That's that's kind of recent, like maybe within the last month or two. <laughs> wow, binary. All right, so we're gonna continue experimenting with this stuff here. Um, we're basically just focused on the leaves. Let's move this over here. I'm trying to remember, I think I actually lost what we had done. We'll see. What's up, man? YouTubes. Uh, I'll see if I can find it. I mean, it's not... Uh I just eyeballed it. I think it. I was just using concrete. And then masks. The procedural masks that all come with the, with the uh, software. <laughs> like I didn't really take anything. <laughs> uh, binary, I will be, we're gonna continue to experiment with textures, uh, leaf textures. Uh, let me see if this is actually what where we were before. Oh yeah, a little bit. So we're experimenting, uh, I hear Madu. Uh, we're experimenting with like where to get the, the edge so that you can transition the uh, between these two maps. So this is kind of like that spotty material. And then I went outside actually, and even though these aren't the same leaf, just seeing how they uh, degrade or how they, how they, how they age. Yeah, this is designer, uh, Bluetooth. Gerzo, what's up? How you doing? So, like, you notice in the green, there's even some spots in there. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, maybe it would be worth uh, putting some of those spots in the uh, in this one. And then I also think that this is just too green. You see, this one's pretty yellow. This is probably a little bit of color balance. And then um, it's also probably has to do with the fact that ambient light in general is being absorbed into the, the leaf itself. So probably not as representational of what we would hope. I don't think I can pick. Oh, snap, I can. That's cool. Look at that. Dude, Maru, he's just jamming. Oh, you're in the game jam, dude. Nice. 
Yeah, because the color I was sampling before is just kind of like, like, like that's really dark. And I think the, the main reason for it is to get the get those edges. And you see, like, actually in this one, at least in this leaf, uh, I think in this type of leaf, the the little stems and veins are actually lighter. But experimenting, right? Experimenting, experimenting. So I'm actually just going to... We don't need the, the 2D viewport or the 3D viewport right now, so we're just going to put this here. Interesting way to work. Uh, I need to get this window out of the way, though. There we go. So let's try taking this one. Oh, I don't want to pick a gradient. No. Let's go with maybe like this dark one. So that's like the darker point in there, which you can see is not really giving us. Let me do that maybe. Not as much range. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if you take this point and make it darker. That's interesting. Oh yeah, we're gonna need Photoshop too, cause I'm, oh, I just hit Painter. Ah. No. Oh, we have music right now, oh my God. We're not supposed to. Thanks, man. I don't know. I don't know. I forgot to turn it off. Don't want to lose that precious audio, right? I know you like the music. I'm sorry. If you have me on Twitch, you can, uh, or on Twitch, on, where is it, Discord. So if you're here, right? You should be able to, oh no, it's because I'm streaming. Never mind. <laughs> I fail. Is he still, he's still going? I wonder if I can, um, no, screw it. It's just gonna burn time trying to make it, make stuff happen. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna select this guy, open this leaf up. Uh, we're going to go to the albedo, the albedo. So you can see all our iterations. I just saved them so we can like experiment and look at what's going on. Um, go back to this one. I don't really like that one being there. I do like this kind of like speckled range. Let's, let's do that and then we'll do some dots. It sounds like I'm in a jungle full of, uh, of birds. So I have it connected to, to Discord, but, but, but because I'm streaming, it's like, no. No, you don't want that. Did that fix it? No, it still says I'm streaming. I can't fix it right now. Oh man, Mato, you're just rocking out. Anyways, let's uh, let's keep going here. So we like these little dots, right? So let's look into those. Let's see if maybe there's like a noise. Maybe this one. <laughs> you're connected to me. How how can you listen to me even though I'm streaming? That's cool. So we're gonna look at levels. I'm gonna try and isolate some spots. Uh, let me look at some other noises. This one might be better. Modern. Modern. Yeah, this one is better.
Huh. All right, cool. I mean, so this one kind of works, uh, just because like, at least in this, the spots are all kind of uniformly the same size. But if you wanted that variety of, of scale, uh, you probably need to use something else. You can try dirt. Oh yeah, interesting, let's look at that one. Well, that gives some interesting uh, scatter. I mean, even if this was in combination, I kind of like the. We'll just add like a blend node. Let's let's bring this in here. Yeah, see, the tile sampler stuff would be one way to do it as well. Let's see, though. Let's see what this looks like. So we did, like, multiply and then really turned it down. And maybe we go, let's go to levels, see if we can make them bigger. And then let's try, I'm going to try a different with this one. And then just do a different balance here. Fuller high quality grayscale, and then we'll grab the gradient. This one. So this is the other version play with so we're blurring like way too much right now I wonder if I uh, do this first and then oh look at that that's interesting some interesting effects though like kind of metaball esque oh I can do that in the oh, I always forget thanks man yeah so like you're talking about this invert here I can just do it in here you're talking about with this though right the I like the idea of using um, let me let me see if this is gonna work using the mask to uh, control where the dots go uh, Like maybe you don't want the dots on the edge, so I need a different different mask. That'd be interesting. Maybe I use this one.
Oh. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. Black Betty and uh, Narciss? Is it Narciss? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. No UI. Oh, we did want it the other way around. Okay. Yeah. So see, this is like isolating the the spots to around the near the stems. Um, if I didn't want it on the stems too, I guess I could do like um, blend. Oh, this is a good song. If you guys are listening on uh, through Discord, this song's sick. Here, I'm turning this up for me. So I want to blend this with the original stem. Like that. You can see before it would you see how it would get onto the stem there? We just swap those out and make sure it doesn't happen. Man, what a messy uh, little setup here. I'm just going to dupe this node so that we have like a little isolated case over here. So these ones I kind of want to use now too. I mean, they kind of have it up here. You're talking about like these guys. So like if we need like a normal node. If that's what you're talking about. I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about. I wonder what happened with directional warp if I used this map. I always, there you go. Oh, God damn it. And then you scroll and then you're like, where the hell am I? What is happening? <laughs> What's, what is this? Intensity to 2,000. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about drag out and then let go and then be like, blur. I mean, they, they've they just did that by, instead of clicking the node and dragging out, you just click the node and then type in blur and then it'll go forward for you. So it's actually one less click, right? It's just not, this just allows you, I guess, to position it where you were hoping to, right? Okay, so we got these little spots added in here now. Running coyote, coyote! What's up, man, how you doing? So, I don't know if I like that. I mean, it could be interesting. Maybe if I did like a blur.
That's super bright. I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? I'm going to go here and then remove a lot of the... No. Let's invert this. Is there a faster way to invert using this node? You can remove some of those, the darker spots, and then, well, we shouldn't do it like that. We should do it in here. Use that to get some like discoloration spots in there. Still not sure if that's the right because like I'm just adding black into the value, which you don't really want to be. Time to check an engine. It's true. It's true. Shh, quiet. <laughs> I don't like the directional warp, so we're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna get rid of blur. Just use the dots. Multiply. I'm just gonna replicate this look. I'll make the dots smaller. Interesting is uh, maybe I can. Oh. So you can get like the nice, like uh, the softness around it. You see the difference there? And then goes back to this one. Okay. <laughs> it's so spotty. This thing's gonna be super green. Yeah, it, it needs that, uh, I mean, I think you're getting a little bit of that with this, this stuff we added here, but I think having more of that would be nice. I like this type of stuff. As long as it's like not too separated from the rest of the colors. Bonobo? Mmm. Yeah, Bonobo's good, man. I saw Bonobo live once. That was um that was a good experience. I think these ones actually still need to be smaller. Huh. <laughs> Can he make them smaller?
Where them tunes at? Spider, what's up, man? Uh, you have to listen to them through Discord now. So that way I don't get uh, reamed by the Twitch. So there was a moment here where we were blending this in. We need to get this stuff back. So I also think I need to unify the palette a little bit more. It's a little too strangely dark. Let's, uh, let's pull some of these outliers out. Let's do that. Maybe we'll take these higher points and lower them a little bit. color, base color. So let's see here. Oh yeah, we got to add that noise grain too. So the other thing I want to do is these uh, dots. I want to have those dots also in the um, in the dead stuff. Subtle. So if they're in the same spot, it's kind of cool. Grub, what's up? Those dots look like poppy seeds. Mmm, poppy seeds. How you got the mask for leaf edge damage? Uh, so we're going to actually revisit that now because I actually, I don't like the way that it looks, but the, uh, where are we at here? So it's just a matter of like, we used the alpha. Did we? Hang on. Let me let me look here. Oh yeah, that was some experimenting. Where are we at? So we used the alpha, and then we did like a a slope blur on it against this noise, and that kind of got us some edge stuff. Inverted it, and then slope blurred it again with a higher frequency noise to just kind of get some gradient stuff going on. We use the levels to pull it in a little bit further and tighten up the edges and then use that as the mask between this material and this material. But uh, like you can see, it's kind of not, like if I turn it up, then you start to see it a little bit. Uh, let's see here. What I want to do is blend. I want smart nodes, man. I want to grab these two, hit, type in blend, and then it just plugs them in and it looks at like, from the top down, it's like, okay, this one probably would be on the top and this one probably be on the bottom. Because then if it like hooks it up like this and I was like, oh, I, that's, I want the invert of that. You just select them and press X and it flips them, right? So those are the things I would love for them to add. Okay, so we've got this one and this one. And then let's use the mask that we originally had and just see how it looks. All right. <laughs> see, that's where you're like, oh, I need to flip these. So that's kind of it's doing it a little bit. Quilly Willy. Imports. Are you are you experiencing a delay, Quilly? Select them both, yeah, like this. Oh, Madu's in trouble. Madu's in trouble. You're just in league? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the addiction continues. Let's look at it in uh, comparison to the rest of the scene. So they are really light.
the browning is much more, uh, it's much better feeling. Wow, that. That strength, though. What? There's no trans. What? I don't believe it. How's there no transmission, but it's that bright? All right, so let's let's look at uh, balancing those values a little bit. Oh. I'm just exporting the outputs to the the PSD that's in the directory of Unity. Let's go in here. We'll just do a levels just to do a quick test on the this. I think more in that range. The output was that. See, I feel like this, it's still too crunchy, you know? Like, see how soft that is? It's like I want to do a blur. Uh, hang on. Non-uniform grayscale could be. What? Oh, blur map. Oh, whoops. Let's try blurring it against itself. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Cause then you get those gradients in there. Oh, I got too excited, guys. Like we need to more intense with it. Ah, it's interesting. on top of itself before the uh
Uh, let's let's see what that is. It's not that edge that we're looking for. The other thing that you're noticing with the edge too is you get that that kind of darkening, the saturation on the edge, the transition point. I mean, it's kind of balanced inside of the scene now, but I still like, it doesn't feel like it belongs, if that makes sense. Like, I think the stems still need to be dark, uh, lighter. that and then we're still hacking with this little levels there let's uh, kill that we'll go back here you guys like me talking to myself oh that's interesting go just a little The thing is, this one has too much blue in it, maybe? Yeah, there we go. So overall, it's, it's much lighter compared to the other plants. Um, Bring this one over here. Oh, we have one in there. All right. Well, we just need this guy over here so we can do some balancing. We could really push the contrast, I guess, if we wanted to try that. Do the levels here and just kind of. Really push those dead values. Mm. Also, I'm not a fan of that. Um, we'll just go straight in there. Ah, it's a little more interesting. Doru. Doru. Who's Doru? Hey. This one. Oh, wow. Good old moisture time.
Oh, no. Do you guys know if I tweeted out? I can't remember if I tweeted out that I was. I don't think I did. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Button pressing craziness. Magic. What's this dirt look like? Mmm. Mmm. Who are you talking to? I'm very confused. Oh, I just realized I don't have my... My Discord chat up for the moderators. Looks like everything's okay, though. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Am I supposed to? I feel bad now. Oh, that's, <laughs> I see. Badass shield indeed. Man, so much layering going on. It just made it more light, which I don't think we wanted. I'm like, who's that? Oh. So in this shader, we actually don't have a roughness set up. We just have a, a value that you can scale. I should probably make that scale affect a map, right? <laughs> that's, why, that's why all the leaves look kind of basic right now. Mel, what's going on? How you doing? Dank one. How are you using that? How are you using that? Is it 
New Yuru, how you doing? Uh, this is personal stuff. I only do personal stuff at home, of course. Uh, we're experimenting with procedurally creating the textures for leaves. The other thing is maybe the gradient on a leaf could be nice. I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. So one of the other problems is there's a very uniform pass of this, right? So we're not, like everything is just kind of getting hit by this, this aging stuff. So in this mask, we should probably add like a, a blend of clouds maybe. And then a levels. Probably didn't need a different clouds. Clouds too. Better scale. Oop. Okay, so then we levels, isolate some of those shapes. Missed a bunch of cooking dinner. What are you cooking? Sebastian, what's going on, man? How's it going? So, okay. We're trying, basically what we're trying to do now is isolate some of the leaves and not have so much damage on them. Let's see how that goes. Go to this one so we can preview it while we're doing it. And, um, Basically, just don't want it happening everywhere. Oh, well, that's interesting, too. Maybe some spotting of the. Huh. Oh, Tej, that's a that's a great idea. Aloha, what's up, three hundred three? How you doing? So you do talk about flood fill of the. Uh, this is this is good. This is how how much I have not used substance. Um, so we get a flood fill node, wherever the hell that went. Where did I put it? Where? It's down here. Ah. Okay, so we got our flood fill node. We go to this guy, plug that over here. I'm gonna give us some colors. I like it. Meow. Edge artifacts. Wait, why would I need to blur them? Oh, I see, I see. The edge artifacts, like you're saying. Uh, flood fill. Random color. Plug that into here. That'll give us, let me turn that off. So get colors for them. Too much. Yeah, because you have to bring them out, right? So if you want to do probably even less than that. 
You've been a long time lurker. I recognize your name. You're even in the. You've been posting in the, the Discord. You were also wondering why you were a nomad still, because you've been around for so long. I remember now. Or rather, I, I didn't forget. <laughs> yeah, the Bioshock fan art was cool. So we start with this shape. And then, yeah, we should be okay on padding now, I think. Yeah, post some post some more. It's it's nice to see uh, see you active in the in chat and stuff. Um, as far as the isolating, I trying to remember how you do that. Because there's a way to split all the channels. Color mask. Color to mask, that's one. And then, um, do like that. I've not used any of these nodes. Mask range, no. How to use this node? I mean, there's the color input, right? Which is the flood fill to random. Then you get your color input, and then the color to mask. And then uh, I should just be able to have this up, click this one, and then I drop pick like this one, for example. And it should just generate it, right? Because it's got the color. Oh. Sal, that's awesome. I look forward to that. I hope you don't mind me calling you Sal. Yeah, I'm not sure why that doesn't uh, why that doesn't work. So, I've got the color to mask. I've got it plugged into the flood fill to random, and uh, I'm eye dropping one of these colors like so. And uh, you don't see anything in the preview, so I'm assuming that that's not working. Yeah, dude, our Discord's crazy. There's some amazing artists in there. <clears throat> Maybe I'm using the wrong... Um, Substance designer gives you anxiety? No. What is this to be box size? Because I know there's a way to output the. Uh... Oh, that's cool. There's a way to output channels as well. So if you got this, I mean, we're we're basically there. We just need. I mean, if you really wanted to. Mass by luminance on the grayscale. Yeah, you could mask by luminance if you did uh, random grayscale instead. Plug this into here. You get these guys and then do this one. Well, that doesn't work at all. 
Oh, is it because I don't have it set to uh, luminance? Uh, this, no, 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 no. But alpha? Maybe that needs to be checked. Nope. Yeah, this stuff's fun, man. It's like we're in full-on experiment mode. I don't even... I'm, I'm all over the place right now. So there's... Mask range works if I do that. So if I do... If I dupe that off and then double-click this and I drop this one. There we go. So, if you want to be an environment artist, substance designer isn't necessarily needed as a skill. It's cool that you have it, but any um, studio that's like, you must know substance designer, if they're actually using it in production, that would be cool. But uh, more often than not, that's not the case. So instead of doing this, I could um, plug into this one. Nice. Looking good. <laughs> Looking good. Wait, I don't, I just need to do an invert. Well, invert grayscale. So that one should be full. Yeah, cool. And it's got a little bit of the padding too. Could I elaborate a little bit? I mean, the ability to texture your own assets, sure, but you don't need to texture it in Substance Designer. Um, use Substance Painter. Use materials that already exist. I don't know. like. I want to see that you have an artistic eye. I don't want to see that you can make brick materials like every other substance artist, right? But yeah, I mean, put, put, uh, make a, a brick, a bark, and some mud, and make those three look really, really good, and then you're done. Like, unless you're gonna be a substance designer, like artist. I don't think it's uh, necessarily needed. That is also my opinion, so take that with what you, uh, however you feel. Substance Painter is more for props than uniquely baked textures though, right? You, I mean, there's no rules that say that you have to be one or the other for, depending on what you're making, right? Oh, here's the, <laughs> I'll fill that out later. Um, but like, I mean, when it comes down to it, you can do all of that Substance Painter texturing in here the same way, especially if you're not painting very much. So, okay, so we've isolated it to a few of the leaves. Um, some of them get it, some of them don't. That's cool.
So they explain that having fleshed out environments and props are most crucial for your portfolio. Yes. So good understanding of scale, good uh, PBR material understanding. So like, does your metals look like metals and do your flesh materials look like flesh? Um, and then like for the environments, it's all about composition. So you're placing all those, right? Um, Yeah, dude, T just got it. I think a super skill is to have an environment artist that is abusing the same textures for new props and reusing assets. Super true. These ones I'm happiest with, like they just look good from the from the bottom with the light passing through them. Mm. Whoops, oopsies. So I mean, I think this looks all right. These guys need to be textured still. Those ones are dead, dead leaves. Great cartoon, by the way. Substance abuse. <laughs> uh. You need to get better at modularity. I think understanding modularity is important. And if you if you go to uh, apply to a studio that you know uses a lot of modularity, then yes. Just ate some chicken. Nice. I had sushi. It was amazing. Oh man, dude, I have, you know how long it's been since I made a texture that actually went into a game? That's that's for a texture artist or for the props team. At least in the AAA world, like it gets super, super specialized. A uh, good resource for learning foliage? Off the top of my head, no, but I know there are some decent ones out there. I mean, the last couple streams that I've done, I was making leaves and then building them out. Like, where is... So we have this file. Does not exist. What is this? That's an attempt folder. This is also an attempt folder. That's not good. Yeah, so like these, hang on here, these these guys, like I just modeled them out, right? I just modeled the leaves out and then baked them in Substance Designer as well. And then cut them out and then started bending them. Really all foliage is is understanding the composition of a plant and then recreating that composition with low low amounts of geometry. And sometimes it gets expensive as all hell. Got some advice for a 3D modeling student that wants to be an environment artist focusing on stylized art. Or styli stylized art, yeah, yeah. So, some advice for new 3D modeling. I mean, fine, so stylized art's weird, cause like, it's just a specific look to the stuff you already need to learn how to make, right? So, simplifying shapes. Like this a bit this will go into a bit of a tangent. I apologize for anyone who's like, hey, what about the foliage? So let's just create this box. So if we have this guy right, and then you're like, okay, I'm just gonna bevel this side and then we'll bevel this side and this one. Super dirty. This is this looks gross. Um second here to soften the whole thing up and then weight those polys so that that is stylized technically right 
So stylized is more about finding um, a look you want to go for. And like, like understanding what, what makes that style stylized. So there's like, there's this brick, right? But then maybe, hang on here, maybe stylized for the look you're going for requi uh, requires a curve. Let me just slice this real quick here. Is this, yeah, okay. We didn't want to slice it like that. We don't want to split it. There we go. We just need an edge. So in some stylized stuff, maybe stuff is curved. Or there's a lot of rounded stuff. So in that case, then the style is more like, stylized is just a bunch of rule sets that uh, put that style or adhere the art to that style. Yeah, there's, there's stylized, stylized realism. There's hyper uh, hyper realism where it's like larger than life stylized look. Like you see that a lot in photography. It's hyper realism where they just pop those colors. Like you know it's a photo, but it's just so like um, like in your face. But yeah, it's 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 weird. Stylized work is strange. Because it, it's really, like, there's, yeah, Naughty Dog does um, hyper-realism, where it's, like, real, but not really at the same time. Like, they're taking liberties in order to make it more visually compelling that aren't realistic to reality. But, I mean, honestly, to stylize is just kind of like sketching sketching a different look of, of something that's real, right? So like if you're gonna, like this is, this is kinda, this is stylized a bit. Like there's, that looks really weird. <laughs> These guys are pretty stylized, even though they're based off of uh, real plants and stuff, right? These guys are a little bit more in the realistic realm, but yeah. Hyper realism's gnarly tough. Can I mute my mouse? Am I clicking like crazy or what? No, I can't mute my mouse. I'm sorry. I'm good. Yeah, I'm going crazy, huh? Okay. Uh, I need to see if this, I can't decide if this is too light or too dark or if it needs to be dark. You know what I mean? I like the saturation of this one. Maybe I can go back in here. What? But see, what makes the most sense at this point? What do you mean? Histogram that scan. Histogram scan that puppy in Photoshop. Oh, what? No. No, we have to do it in here. Yeah, it could get lost in ground if it's darker, that's for sure. Let's I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. We'll see. So that's more in that range. Check if it's too dark. Oh. No, I have like, I'm missing some of the range. Like that's full range, right? And it's kind of leaning too, too in the middle. It probably needs to go more like that way. Cause you want your, you want that peak to happen right around here. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Oh, come on, I saved you. There you go. I mean, that feels pretty good. Like this, this stuff here.
Man, I'm, I'm using a, enough nodes now that it's like, why, why would you do that? So this one's more me like trying to tighten up some of the, those edges. Let me see what it looks like in the final. Cause I like the, the tighter edge to the, to that bad boy. So photo scan stuff, uh, still, no matter what you do, will require some tuning once you get it into your, uh, into your engine. Like that's just, that's just how it is. Um, that's where like understanding like why it, why it, or how it needs to be adjusted to work comes into play, right? And that's where the, that's where the experience comes in. See, so Ren's, Ren's stuff is sick, but it, read the fine print because he's modifying it in order to make it look more realistic. But yeah, dude, this stuff's awesome. Like it's, it's the type of realism you, you want in my opinion. See, the other thing is I think this asset's actually too small. I think I've actually built it too small. So like those smaller leaves just don't look, scale-wise don't look right. This one, yeah. How do, you th how do I think ray tracing stuff is going to affect us ar environment artists? Uh, not, not too much. By the time it's, by the time it's hitting us, it's just going to be silent rain stars. Got it. It's going to be lit fam. <laughs> so lit. Uh, I mean, it, it really is like all that's going to happen is our lives for people that are doing baked is gonna get a lot easier. How long until that happens? I don't know. A few years. Um, scans reality, not real enough, friends. <laughs> Dude, it looks so good. Scale that up, but I don't know. Let's try that. That's pretty big. Oh, what? There you go. So, I mean, I think that feels pretty good. We need some, like, variety, though, man. We need some color variety. Dude, Woogie, what's up, man? How you doing? No, I, Sal's, I don't, I, it's not gonna affect us. It's gonna make life easier, if anything. But like, for the people that do light maps right now, they can go away from that. But people are still gonna wanna use light maps because they're either going mobile or they're going, they're, yeah. It's just gonna make things look nicer the end result is things look nicer for less work. Later, Mel. Thanks for the uh, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, light maps are gonna stay because they just look so good. Ray trace will will uh, eventually take over. Like you can't really say uh, ray trace is going to take over until mobile devices can do ray trace at like sixty frames. Like that's that's takeover. Like, it, it's just uh, broadening the spectrum of options for lighting. Like, I don't think, I don't think you'll see a AAA game ship Ray Trace for two years from now. Maybe, maybe two years, maybe three. And it'll be in the ultra settings. No current phone can do that. You just look at your phone. Your, <laughs> you look at your phone and it's just made out of out of stone what <laughs> how is this a thing woogie how you doing man where you at these days what's happening with your life
Would it change our high to low poly baking workflow? No, not at all. It only changes the lighting aspect of things, which if you're an environment artist doesn't really mean much unless you're doing UVs. Light map UVs and stuff like that. Your, your phone's made out of lint and pocket dust? Awesome. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to save this guy. And I'm going to just kind of like... Hmm. I'm going to take this green and we're going to... HSL. We're going to just kind of shift the hue a little bit of it to more like that. Just so that uh, it's a little different from the other plants. Let's let's see what that looks like. And then I think we're we're good on this plant for now. There's obviously there's some other details and stuff we can get in there, but don't really need to be going too crazy with it. You'll see me tab over a couple times. Sometimes like it's saving here and then I get to here and it's not it's not done anything. I'm like, what is what's happening? What you hope for in the future is more efficient retopo tools? Dude, they're pretty, they're pretty efficient now, man. I mean, the most efficient you could get is to have it just do it for you, which, I mean, some studios are already kind of doing that. You just have to care less. That's, <laughs> that's, that's really it. <laughs> if it deforms nice enough, Oh, decimates. Decimate is king. Only second. Only second to Maru. Yeah, binary. We were just talking about like so like these the color of these ones is is just too close to these. That's why I started adding a little bit of yellow to this. But I need to add like a a color splash. Get your sculpt. What's up, man? Yes, Moto Retopo is freaking sick. So sick. But yeah, I, I don't want, um, like if we hide the altar and turn on the little test area, I don't want the plants to get too uh, separate from each other either. If anything is samey, I think it's the, um, like the lower ground plants maybe could use, be more, more lush and green. Man, there's all types of plant madness going on in here. Just, just tone it back. Just chill. Just chill. It's cool. Oh yeah. And these guys are all scaled now too. That's right. Take that light and rotate it. I think you just switch the color of these plants. You're like the 10th person to say that. <laughs> so if we look at these ones, second here so the colors of these versus this one are pretty close I'm just gonna grab this and bring this over here so if we did oops if we did anything on here If we did anything, we would probably take this one and just make it more green. Yeah, it just needs color variation, which can come way later. Like, that's like, 
really what what you want to get is your your palette of stuff to place right and then you can be like oh that plant like we need that one to pop more and then you bring that one up like like we're almost there with this shot right like it's got all the stuff that i'm interested in having shape wise if i can just go in and tune some of those colors then then we'd be good like these guys maybe those guys are maybe those guys are uh greener but dude if you look at like reference of these places this is already too lush like a lot of this stuff needs to die essentially or or brown you know what, you know what i'm saying uh let me hue and a saturation so we'll leave this in here as like a sample and we can go in here and so you could turn the sample of the color up on that and make this more green that's like ultra green so that's that's kind of nice between the two but like color balancing like that is super easy later on. You can just like, you know, mix and match and shift stuff around. That's why I try, try not to worry about that until later. You know what I mean? Like we're all, we're like tuning the colors like that when we should be looking at these guys and their uh, horrible texture. <laughs> But then, then again, they're really small, so maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's not bad at all. Let me think here. I think there's too much blue in it. Let's do that. That works for me. So those those two are separated now, which is good. Uh, these these little guys here. These guys are weird. We were like hand painting these ones, so these ones got really strange. Uh, we already tried to do some hue saturation shifting on these. What about that? Is that crazy? So crazy. Look at that. Look at that variety. Variety. Dude, these ones? Or are you talking about the smaller ones here? Dude, all these are super pretty. These are all really interesting plants. Anywho. Goals. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> so... Now that we have all this stuff, we've got 30 minutes to go. Um, we could, uh, do you guys want to detail out one of the spots? Like we've got, so if we turn that one off, we've got the altar, which has kind of been this like, it's this thing, I'll close this. Oh, nope. So we got this. I know we need to make some more ivy type plants. We also need to build this thing. And I need to fix the mask on this because it's all wacky since we shifted stuff around. I did model all these plants. What's up, Vlad? How you doing? Machus, what's up? Or is it Machus? That's the question, isn't it? That's the question. I need to straighten my back out. You guys should just start telling me. Every time I'm like low on the camera, that's because I have bad posture. So it's like this is trying to force me to straighten my back out. And it's not working. Yeah, this one's I'm okay with this one, I think. Chin tucks. Keep things straight, man. Fix that posture, bro. 
You talking about these little guys here? Give me a second. Whoa, this is like this dirt thing here. Look at that. Uh, so some of these are geo. And some of them are just cards. Like that. And I'm just placing them on top of the, uh, like if I move this over here, you can see. What is this one? Pivot, center, there we go. So I've got this guy and this and this. And then they're all just kind of part of the same group. Can I see those leaves when you get a chance? Uh, you're talking about wish leaves. If you go, there's a lot of new people in here. It's getting there. We've got our selection, I think, that's uh, working out for us. But these leaves, we just finished the stream of texturing them, which is kind of like this. And this is kind of the first pass. I don't know if I, I don't know. We have those. What do we got here? Eh. It's okay. I like the, for not ever texturing leaves, I think it's doing all right. Snoots, what's up, man? The larger leaves? You talking about these ones? That's just these. Do where these where these ones look really good is in the subsurface behind like that scatter in the back. I spent some serious time and got this set up here. Uh, it's pretty uncommon for juniors to be hired out of country. It happens, but uh, probably not in the U.S. Just because visa, getting a visa there is a pain. And I mean, even if you're good enough, if someone else is close enough to your quality and they're in the area, they're going to hire that person. Let's, um, let's see here. Thanks, Snoots. How you doing, by the way? Yeah, I think, I think it is time to start working on this again, like building out the scene. So we have enough of the uh, foliage to make it happen. Hashtag Discord. Oh, exclamation mark Discord. Oh, Karen told you to come here? Dude, Karen's awesome. This guy is also kind of a block out mesh. I need to do something with that. Okay, so let's, we've got 30 minutes. Let's pick another area and just kind of detail it out. Maybe the, not the entrance, right top, is that the one? Where's that one? It's got to turn on, hang on. Need the link. Uh, the link is, Oh. Oh yeah, someone was telling me is the is the link to the Discord broken? Um you can go to dynastyempire.com. That should give you a link to the Discord. Oh, it's over there. So we need a left, sorry. We need uh left top. That's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, wow. 
We have failed to isolate. So those need to go uh, left stairs. No, left exit. Yeah, left exit. Pardon me if the stream starts to chop out a bit. I, moving all this stuff around can get a little, little heavy, a little heavy. But yeah, we'll get we'll get to this area. Uh, people do hire out of province or state, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't worry about any of that stuff. What I would worry about is making a sick portfolio so that people just, they can't help but hire you. They have to. Like, you're so good that they'd be idiots not to. <laughs> the ultimate goal, right? Oh, this one needs to go on the left exit as well. Left exit. And then the altar. What is going on here? Hang on. Oh, that side's not high enough. Ha, that's funny. Interesting, okay, well. Got to go fix that. Uh, that should, that should work. Oh, it's still not high enough. Uh, it's making you anxious. Oh, man, it's fine. Monstera? Monstera plant? Do I still need to tune the, uh, see these masks? Now that I've updated the shader to just work with the, the way that I'm now texturing these. Like this looks more accurate, but it requires me to retune some of the masks that are generated on these assets, which we can fix later. Like these are just uh, these upside down. <laughs> I, had, I need to make some proper pillars. So we get this guy, duplicate him. We need one of these. We need one of these. We need some, what are these, these small leaves here? We've got the cluster that's that shape. What's this one? Nope, that's the same. Oh, we've got the cluster that goes up against the wall, you can see. Or like in the steps. What's, Tej, what's going on? Is it, did it all of a sudden occur that I'm actually building something? I'm not just dinking around for two years. Oh man, the struggle. What else do we need here? We need, we need a single. We got these guys, we got a clump of those guys. We need a single one, there we go. Okay. Oh, there's more grass over there. Just chilling. You guys need to go into um, left exit. There we go. Okay, so now that we have this selection of, of pieces, right? We need to make sure that we grab them all. We need the uh, select outline. That's not helping me at all. All right, we'll just keep doing this. Okay, so we need to move those into left top. So now they're part of this cluster of stuff. So then we can save some performance and hide this guy. So you alter, there we go.
Uh, it, dude, Abel's is freaking good, man. I saw that and was like, what? I feel inadequate. <laughs> Black Betty, what? That was a long time ago. Yes, uh, yeah, we were uh, we were doing this originally in Unreal, but I got tired of baking lighting. <laughs> there's a I know there's a test build now that does like uh, GPU based light baking, but uh, I'm just not in the mood, man. I think for the next scene we'll play around in Unreal, just because I know a lot of people want to know Unreal, and I could always uh, benefit from learning more about Unreal. Oh, we forgot the ivy stuff. What is, where is that? If we go tropical leaf. It's weird though, it's like a weird hybrid thing. Uh, we already have it set up, hang on here. Alter, or not alter, test. Test, test, one, two, test. This guy, and this one. Just place them up here for now. Oh, I like these right here. Hmm. All right, now that outline stuff's bugging me. Cry engine win. Never, never. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> some leaves here. Oh yeah, look at this. I still need to fix that. There's like this gap here. Maybe I'll just lower this. Like scale the terrain to average it out and then uh, lower down. We'll just move all of it forward. Yeah, that's cool. It's done. Yeah. This one goes here because some of the bigger plants are up here. So I've kind of taken over this corner. It's all storytelling, all the time, every time. I don't like those there. Hmm. Maybe over here. and not scaled. You gotta be careful that scaling it breaks all types of stuff. Oh yeah, and you'll see leaves that clip into walls. You hide that by either fully clipping the leaf or uh, adding other plants in front of it so that you don't see the clip. <laughs>
I'm going to turn some of this stuff off just to see if we can get some more performance out of the... That doesn't seem to be helping us much. <laughs> for me, everything is pretty smooth, but for some reason, streaming this stuff uh, is pretty heavy. We need to do left... Where is it at? Left uh, floor? There it is. Just so we know where the floor is at. Zero out that rotation. God, that mask is bugging me. It's wrong here too now. The This plant's kind of fun because you can uh, you can squish it. Darkus, what's up, man? Oh, you're a staff member. Expect some traffic, uh, <laughs> dude. We're only streaming for 15 more minutes. You guys can just start asking questions though. Sounds good, man. Uh, we're here Mondays and Thursdays, and I've, I mean, we've done some portfolio critiques from you guys before, actually, so. But yeah, they're all welcome to the Discord, and welcome to, I mean, flood everything that we have. The nicest thing, I think, that we have right now is the, um, what is it called? Mods get ready. It's not going to be that crazy. I, I, I don't believe it. That's impossible. Um... It's the resource, if, if someone can get the link to that, actually, I think I have a button for it. The Empire Hub. Did it pop up? Where's it at? Is that it? Yes. This thing. This thing is awesome. It's basically just everything that gets posted into our Discord's uh, resources page. So if you're in here and you go to um, resources, anything that gets posted in here that is like, oh man, that's really good. People would want to know that. It gets it gets organized into this. It's also where you do your portfolio review stuff if you want to sign up now. Your Bible from now on. And we're working on, dude, we're working on this getting started guide, which I think is going to be really cool once it's fleshed out. It's like, hey, I want to make 3DR for games. What does that even mean? And then we just start like boiling it down and then give you kind of phases and how to's and all the way to the point where you're applying for jobs is the goal. I wonder if I can just lean this. How weird does that look? It's, it gets weird fast, but maybe maybe that's okay. You've been a member for a while. We just don't talk a lot. Yeah, time difference is rough, man. I notice a lot of our uh, community is uh, European just because of the fact that, like, I just can't exist easily in the realm of North America, you know? Dude, I really like this stuff up here. I wonder if I can exaggerate the hell out of it. One thing you'll notice when you start to scale stuff up like this is it can look bad uh, really quickly. Um, and that's just because the scale just doesn't sell itself. And you're like, why is it, it just doesn't look right? And you don't know why it doesn't look right. It's usually the scale. The scale is an issue. So like uh, where you can start to get away with it is when it's far away from the player, right? So if you're always down here and you can't really get up there, then you can kind of, you can exaggerate this stuff a little bit.
Oh man, this stuff I'm running on here is, uh, I think it says it on the bottom of my Twitch description info. I can't even remember now. I know I need to upgrade. It's upgrade time. I don't have the time or money for that right now. Gotta try and save her for a house, yo. It's hard. It's hard being an adult. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's true. I'm like, man, I should upgrade my PC. And then Mario comes in and he's all like huge, wide eyed and just nah, it's... it's like, I can't, I can't ignore that. I'm becoming a full on Swede. What do you mean? I will forever be an expat no matter what I do. Oh, yeah, I mean, next year I can apply for it, technically. Question is, should I? I probably will. I mean, why not? It's a nice goal to have. Be here five years, you might as well. Mm-hmm. Oh. Pigwigs. Pigwigs work? Is that, is that right? Thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the follow. Grenade TR, thanks for the follow. And then is it Pandolin NA? Dude, are you from North America? Yes. Awesome, except for a system of blog. Whatever. Alcohol is gonna alcohol. Um, let's see here. my concentration phase. You live in Canada? Nice. Yeah, it's quite expensive. It's not that bad. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not bad. What's bad is going to a bar. That stuff is crazy expensive. But honestly, look at that price of, a, of the same type of beer in a bar in the States and it starts to approach those prices pretty quickly. It's only within a dollar or two. Eight euros for a beer, good old Sweden. Yeah. Swedes go to Denmark for beer. The Danes go to Germany for beer. The cycle continues until people don't realize they're drinking their own pee. <laughs> You're like, what? What, have, what happened? This wasn't me, it was Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls taught me this. Yeah, dude, time to, time to uh, start brewing your own beer. Sounds awesome. That sounds way more fun than getting like the bad batch every time. It's still, still more fun than just spending it on beer. I'm more of a whiskey guy anyways. How you doing, dead man? So one thing to pay attention, when you have a, like um, a really big plant, think about like think about it like it's a height, right? So this is like your highest point. You want to have medium height stuff around it to help ground it. Um, and then from there, you can like transition down to the smaller stuff, which is usually like vines and grass and, and things like that, right? It's like maybe you take this guy. It helps composition really quickly. So do it, <laughs> do it if you can. You didn't think there was a Japanese lesson? I don't know, Tej. I don't know if I have or not. What is that?
I'm a big fan of the fermented fish, believe it or not. And the sandwich cake is pretty good. Ew. It's not for everyone, man. It's okay. I understand. It's so good. No, I promise it's fine. It's just the sound of me enjoying it. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what it is, man. It tastes good. Smorgastorta. <laughs> I'm like, first time I heard that was like, like smorgasbord? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm working on that. Darkness. I do this in my off time. Twice a week. I'm searching for details to add. I feel like there needs to be some of this guy over yonder. Meow. Down here. Yeah. Get in there, plant. Grow. Get that lone one where you at? There you are. See, it's it's weird if there's a lone one, but if there's a bunch of smaller ones around it, it kind of it can work. Like, why would there be one healthy lone one? Man, there's there's too much over here though. Just tone it back, tone it back. Do you mean bevels? Hey, Kyle, what's up, man? Hey, yo, it's your boy, Kyle. What's up, man? How you doing? Looking snazzy. They're getting uh, planty. Does that, does that work? So you can use these plants too to mask the fact that like uh, this guy isn't really, there we go, wasn't really popping up very well. It's like maybe these are even coming out of that. So you don't know. Plant's going to plant, man. Is there soil? You don't know. Hold my drink. <laughs> uh, all right, sorry, I, I need to catch up on chat here. Why are you why are you dividing it up into smaller pieces? Either work on or prefab. Yeah, it's easier to work on because like Unity doesn't have uh, prefabs yet. Isn't that hilarious? I find that quite funny actually. It's all good though. Soon enough. Soon enough. I wonder what happens if I just... Is it possible? No, it's not. I'm going to have to make one that uh, looks correct to this angle. Because that just looks whackalicious. That's super weird.
Hold my dynasty. <laughs> what does that mean? So this shape, this shape for this plant is pretty nice just because like with uh, when you look at it compositionally, having this these two that come out on the side here helps you uh, extend out kind of like the fingers of foliage, you know what I mean? Because um, that foliage just kind of reaches out and it, like it tends to reach out in directions where it has stuff that it needs, right? Nutrients, the goods. And so you tend to get uh, much more natural foliage propagation when you try to imitate that look. Not sure on this yet. It's very, so see how it's very samey on both sides here? Maybe you can like, nope. Let me bring this one over here. Gotta be careful on that samey stuff, man. It's dangerous territory. I'm gonna use these guys to mask it a little bit, maybe make this one a little longer. And who said plants can't grow up here, right? Big ones, big old plants. Just gotta get that silhouette break up. Doesn't even have to line up, it's fine. Cool. All right, guys. Is there spider webs for the scene? Uh, no, there's not. But I mean, if you want, we can maybe look into that at some point. Green thumbs. Nice teach. <laughs> uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think we're on the road to finishing this soon. Now it's just like detailing things out and getting everything uh, in place. I need to fix some stuff and we still need to build a couple things, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. All right, guys, I will check you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the shout out. Good old 3D staffs. I'm gonna press this button now. Peace out. All right, have a good week, everyone.